Audio lessons are like having a coach on your shoulder each step of your ride. We give you straightforward techniques, visualizations, and exercises to help transform you and your horse into the best possible team. In today's lesson, I'd like to do the first in a series of how to quit bouncing when you ride. This is a question I get asked quite often about from riders wondering how they can sit the trot better, how they can be quieter as they ride, and to begin with, I think it's pretty important to understand the why. Because if we can understand why we might bounce when we ride, then it's easier to make the corrections later on. One of the reasons I see quite often that people are bouncing when they ride is they're bracing on their stirrups. And that would look a little something like this, where you're pushing down on your heel. And when you do this, this pushes your leg forward and it creates a rigidity through the whole entire leg. The other piece that happens when one does this is it pushes our seat towards the back of the saddle and then it pushes us up out of the saddle slightly. So it's going to be important that you're aware of your leg position and you keep your leg quiet. Something that could be helpful so that you know you're not bracing on your stirrups is to lift the feet in the stirrup and just kind of do a little dance in your stirrups. The other thing one could do is by opening the leg, it's going to allow you to secure your seat down. So you'll feel like as you open your leg, your seat drops down into the saddle. Once you feel like you're quiet and your leg is very flexible and soft, the next thing you're going to check for is you're gonna check for the tone in your body. Now riding here is a family affair and my husband uses a really good example of when you ride, you can either be like wood or you can be like clay. When you're riding, you want to try to feel and tune into what does your body feel feel like? If you feel like you're stiff and tense and like a piece of wood, more than likely you're going to be bouncing. If, on the other hand, you're really mushy and not carrying any tone, you're gonna also bounce. But if you can have a little tone throughout your body and be a bit more like clay, moldable and pliable, yet strong and resilient, then you're going to be able to go with your horse much more easily. Another thing that one could consider when they're riding is the, the upper body and where you're carrying it. If you're leaning back or if you're tipped too far forward, you're going to be in a position where the energy comes through and causes a lot of movement. I'm going to try to be like a piece of clay and I'm gonna go with his motion. Next, I'm going to push on my stirrups. Now my horse stops because he feels that amount of tension in my body. But if I push on my stirrups, you'll see my seat's coming out of the saddle and I'm bouncing a bit. So I'm going to go back to riding with just like a piece of clay. I'm gonna go with my horse and then I'm going to come down to the walk. Now, another thing that we should be aware of is if we are tight and carrying tension in our thighs. I see this happen as well. And if you think of a clothespin, a clothespin as it comes closer, so if my legs were a clothespin, if, if I'm gripping my thighs, as my legs come closer, I'm actually pushing myself up out of the saddle, which is again going to create more bouncing in my body. So do a check with your thighs as you're riding along and make sure that you're not gripping and lifting yourself out of the saddle. Again, that exercise where you take your thigh away might be helpful. I hope you feel like you've got a, a good grasp of the things you might be doing that is creating some bouncing when you're riding. In our next part of the series, we're gonna go over some things you can try doing so that you don't bounce quite as much. All right, until I see you next time, happy riding.